lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl for my flower and today we are making this reversible satin hair bonnet check it out see the beauty check out the ruffle so beautiful period okay let's get into the video <laughs> To get started, I'm going to pick a choice of fabric. I chose this beautiful yellow satin fabric. Very soft, very breathable, very comfortable, you know. It is perfect for sleeping. I love it, okay? And this African print. Mm, the backstory, guys. I got this fabric from my grandma and the other one from my mom. So I'm kind of confused. But let's see... This has a little less yellow, so I'm thinking of going with this. Okay, I did any mini mani more and I finally chose a fabric. So let's get started. So off camera, I went to cut out a perfect square. I'm so sorry, I didn't record that. So it's just a perfect square with 29 inches width and 29 inches depth. So it is a perfect square, guys. We're going to cut it out and then we're going to fold it, we'll flip it into two on the first side, that is horizontally first. We'll flip it this way, make sure it rhymes perfectly, okay? We don't want any mistakes, we don't want any issues. Then you fold it the second time vertically. I hope that makes sense, guys. Anyway, we are going to count these four leaves at the edge to be sure we folded correctly. And yeah, we did, okay? So diagonally to that is our midpoint. I'm going to turn it for better understanding. Yeah, this point is our midpoint. That is where we place our tape rule and measure 14 inches all around. Note that I'm not moving the tape rule at the edge, at the midpoint. I'm not moving it, but at the other end, I am moving it around okay this is a big bonnet that's why we're using 14 inches anyway i'm going to draw that out i'm going to cut it out and so we have a perfect circle yeah we're going to use this template to cut it out on the satin also so we have two circles the african print and the satin fabric okay so now we're going to place the two circles on top of each other right sides facing each other okay right sides facing each other and we're going to sew it all around with 0 0.5 inches sewing allowance while sewing we're going to leave out five inches allowance for turning okay so we won't sew five inches of that i'm using a black thread just for clear illustration so here i'm done and i'm turning my fabric now i'm turning it inside out and i'm going to lay it flat on the table as you can see i bonnet is coming together good i'm going to press it down i'm going to iron it neat and clean while we are ironing guys i have a riddle when does 10 plus 3 equal 1 no cheating guys write your answers in the comment section anyway back to our sewing project here i'm marking one inch all around every single part of the fabric i'm going to mark one inch and i'm going to connect it like so just wait we are not done we're going to mark half an inch from that one inch so if we're counting from the beginning it becomes 1.5 inches but if we're counting from the previously marked line it becomes half an inch i hope this is clear guys if it's not i'm here to answer any questions in the comment section okay here i'm connecting the second line and this is a zoomed in video of the two lines i hope it makes sense anyway we are going to go to our machine now and sew it all around so the first one the inside circle we are going to sew it all around tight short okay while the second one the outer one we are going to leave one inch space to pass our elastic band this is me at my machine sewing while listening to my favorite playlist i have this gospel playlist i listen to when i'm sewing it just keeps my head straight it helps me work better what is your favorite gospel music let me know in the comment section anyway i'm sewing the circle i'm done with the first one and this is the second one i don't know if you noticed but i left the one inch space i was talking about and if you didn't notice well leave yours okay it's for your own good anyway i am done here and this is what we have so now i'm going to measure my elastic band my head size is 22 inches so i'm going to cut that out exactly 22 inches okay i have a big head i know and i'm going to use my safety pin to pass it through while we are passing it through riddle riddle i am something i am cost effective i keep your hair tangle free i prevent breakouts 
And most importantly, I keep your hair hydrated. What am I? Ding ding, have on it. <laughs> when I was done, I tied my elastic band together and this flared part, you can either do invisible stitches or you can glue it down. I decided to glue mine and this is what we have. I hope you love this video. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, all of those things if you love it. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.